Hi, I'm Adria Richards, and today I'm going to show you what some consider to be a secret on making websites look good. So here we are at the Joomla homepage, and this is their generic layout. Basically, you have some boxes on the left, you got some stuff on the right, you have, you know, your banner at the top, got links and things. So it, it certainly is very flexible in sharing a lot of information, but it's not really exciting looking. You certainly can move some things around and click on stuff, but what happens if you could do more? Well, I'm going to show you. Joomla is a thousand times more powerful than any website created with just plain HTML for the simple fact it's made of two components, HTML and a little bit of PHP scripting, along with a database, which means your data never lives on the actual page, which means you are able to change sites with the snap of your fingers. Let me show you. So we're going to be looking at some templates today. And the two sites I really like are joomart.com and uTheme. So that page we were just at could easily look like this. You just go in and you kind of click something. Uh, you could play live video, have that embedded. Have you had some good news? You can insert images, have feeds, all types of stuff. Let's keep looking. Here's another one. Another thing that you can do is create dy thing, dynamic resizing or change colors. So let me click on this orange one up here. I've just changed the color scheme for the entire website. Same here. Maybe you have people of different ages who need a little bit of help seeing things. Oh, I can just increase the size of the font like that. Let's look at the next one. Here you have a different layout yet again. Um, it's just so nice to have this flexibility. Um, if if it, if looks didn't matter for websites, we'd all have just have text with no pictures. But it's true that people are attracted to colorful sites, sites with images. So. People are putting out all these websites and they're like, I want to be unique. Well, here's a great opportunity for you to do that. And the benefit about themes is you don't have to have a designer in-house and you don't have to pay someone to keep making all of these for you. Instead, you can focus on updating your own content and let someone else worry about the looks. And like people go shopping for cars and groceries. When you're in the mood and you think your business needs a facelift on the website, you go shopping for a new layout. I think this one's uh, particularly nice because you can change colors like so. And again. And the thing is, your visitors will start coming back to your site if it looks fresh, if it looks interesting, if the kind of movement isn't from generic ads on the side, but instead you have these beautiful sweeping images uh, that you have, uh, maybe they're your own, or maybe they're stock photography. So uh, there's a couple more I want to show you just to illustrate how powerful these templates are, so you can focus on your business. And watch this, you can expand it just like that with a click of a button. So no more resizing windows and all that jazz. There's one more, it's really nice. And then people talk a lot about SEO and getting found because if you're selling a product or a service, you want to make sure people can find you. Well, oftentimes your navigation can actually prevent people from finding you. So I'm going to use the example of the Minnesota Zoo because uh, they have about 10 links showing up, and that's because of how their links are set up. 
the right way. So I'm going to go over to a Google search and I type in Minnesota Zoo. Now Google will create these uh, sublinks based on the popularity of your site and that they're in they, they actually can be indexed as individual pages. So we got general info, times, jobs, volunteer. So you can't pay Google to make these show up, but if you have your SEO and your links all set up right, rather than just having one link, you could have 12 all on the first page. And you may be thinking, well, what's the cost of one of these templates? Well, most people would really be surprised because the cost of a template is usually somewhere between 25 to, I'll say, $200. If you have an entire, if you have a template custom made for you and taken off the market, not available to anyone else, then you're maybe looking at yeah, 600 maybe $2,500, depending on the complexity. A lot of shopping carts are good examples of uh, customized uh, templates or themes. So... And since we're talking about SEO, so the other nice thing about Joomla is you can change your navigation once again with a snap. So if we go over here to navigation. So we have split menu, sucker fish, and trans menu. So let's change it to sucker fish. And now you got drop downs. Right? Yeah, that's what people call them, I guess. And then uh, trans menu. sort of transparent, nice drop downs again. So it's really that easy. Um, also, you'll notice I'm not signed in. So this is actually a choice you're giving to your users. So what better way to say, visitors of my website, you're important to me. I'm gonna let you choose how you navigate the website. So really quite powerful. And just like uh, the other screencast where I showed you, um, you know, being able to print articles, no different yet again. So there's a consistency of features which people basically they start to expect in websites. So if you have a HTML based website and has been updated in a few years, I certainly can help you uh, move into 21st century. Till next time.